This video was for the second knowledge organizer that year seven Delta, my year seven class have to complete this week. Again, read the knowledge organizer, watch this video if you need help on it, try the questions from the knowledge organizer and there is work set on Maths Watch to help you with that. So, the first example from the knowledge organizer says that in a female choir there, there are eight altos and 10 sopranos. You have to write altos as a percentage of sopranos. To do this, we do what we did in our last lesson, which is we write these as a fraction. You can then turn this into a percentage by timesing your fraction by 100 on a calculator if you want. So we could do that. Or you can say that 8 out of 10 is the same as 80 out of 100 and your percentage becomes 80%. For the second part of this, you have to use your information from the previous question, and it says write the sopranos as a percentage of the altos. So again, you're going to go 10 over 8. You then times this by 100. Notice that the fraction is upside down because you're writing them as a percentage the other way around. If you do that, you get 125%. For the next part, or the final example, it says it costs £1.50 to make a birthday card. It's sold for £2.25. Work out the percentage profit. Profit is how much money you would make. Now, for me, for this, I would turn each of these into pence just because it makes it easier to do it, and it doesn't affect the percentage profit. So to get to the first step, you want to work out your profit. Often that would be the first mark on an exam question. So I do 225 because I've turned this into pence, take away 150. That gives me 75. What I then do to work out percentage profit is I write this as a fraction out of how many they originally cost. So if you imagine 75 pence is your profit, it originally cost £1.50, which is 150 pence, and then times that by 100. You can figure out that this is 50% here, but your percentage profit is 50%. Use this to help you complete the remaining of the questions on the Knowledge Organizer and then the Maths Watch homework.